Kingsley Amos' memoirs, there are a couple of moderately interesting things in it. For instance, Amos writes of one occasion. Burgess took my wife and me to lunch with his wife Lynn at the Café Royale, the latter lady being a bit pissed and rather spoiling an occasion he had clearly wanted very much to be a success. I invited Burgess and her to a drinks party at my house. She was pissed again. John, there's a horrible man in that conservatory being horrible about you. You ought to go out there and bash him. No, no, darling. It's only old Terry. Only old Terry. He means no harm at all. But you've got to stop him saying... The other occasion is also quite amusing. Amos writes that uh, Burgess was in London in 68 and by coincidence so were a number of Czech writers in flight from the Russian invader. I asked Burgess and his new wife to a modest lunch I was throwing for some of these writers. I had next to me a pleasant fellow called Igor Hayek, the editor or ex-editor of a literary magazine whom I'd met on my 1966 visit to Prague. He asked me apologetically if I could give him any help in finding the obvious thing, a small place to stay that shouldn't be too expensive and not too far from the centre. I said I'd get my wife, who was good at that kind of stuff, to have a go. When the time came to make our farewells, I said to Hayek, to show I hadn't forgotten his request, Right, Igor, I understand your problem. Said Mrs Burgess, and went on to bollock me from a left-wing point of view, for presuming to claim I understood the problem facing a Czech communist or Marxist or whatever, whose country had been occupied by the USSR. No, no, darling. Kingsley only meant he understood Igor's problem about finding accommodation, etc.